Today I got to talk to the one and only George Loudon of Loudon Guitars Limited. Let's see what he has to say. Um, can you tell me a bit about the summer of 1961 when you were 10 years old? That's an awful long time ago. <laughs> Um, but what I can remember is that I, I had a very good friend, Alan French, who, uh, whose father was a boat builder and a cabinet maker. And uh, he had a great workshop out the back of his house in Grimsworth. So I was down there one afternoon and I guess we must have been watching the Beatles or whatever, uh, just emerging at that time. And I had this idea I would love a guitar. So um, his father actually helped Alan and I to make one I think or maybe one each and so we used hardboard for the uh, for the front and we just sort of cut it in a figure eight shape and cut a sort of hole in the middle of it and we glued on a square box on the back so that you can see it and then we glued on a piece of uh, I think two by one and then we used fishing line for the strings and we hammered in f uh, nails and bent them over for the frets and then, um, you know, age 10, we pranced around the garden thinking that was great crack. Yeah. So ever since your teens, you've been, you've been, you've been driven to continue in the art of guitar making. Um, can you tell me a bit about your first sale of a Loudoun guitar? Well, the first three guitars, I made three guitars at the same time at, when I decided to, to do it for a living. Um, and I had got a book, a little small book, which, which I have here, and uh, used that to sort of help me learn the basics of guitar building, and I built three, and um, sold all three of those guitars for the princely sum of £50 each. And it was gratifying to me, I mean, it was a long time ago, so it was gratifying to know that somebody liked them enough to buy them, even though the price was... Was very low. Very low. Yeah. And how did that, how did that feel? You've worked, you've you'd worked hard to get the, your business kicked off the ground. How did it feel whenever you first seen the guitar go out the doors? How did that feel? I think there was just a huge amount of encouragement, encouragement. enough to make me go on and try and make the next guitars better. Yeah. Try and learn something from those three. So what is your personal favourite out of the many brands, out of the many makes you have here, what would be your personal favourite? Well we just finished one, we just finished one there um, this week, uh -huh. which when I played it yesterday I was totally astounded Founded. with it and it's uh, right behind me, it's this one here, it's, a, it's actually an F50 uh, African Blackwood back in size and Alpine Spruce top and the sound of that guitar is just Amazing. 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 I'm not a good player, but uh, you know, I can strum a chord. Yeah, that would be brilliant. Or it's not in tune, but uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, let me tune that. finished this one yesterday um, and um, one of the players who was here started to play it you know it was just even for me and I'm so used to hearing mm -hmm. the guitars you know this really spoke to me and I started to get goosebumps going up and down my arms yeah. just from the sound of it there's a, there's a certain uh, there's a certain clarity and a certain musicality about the tone of some yeah. guitars which cannot be um, pigeonholed, mm -hmm. cannot be completely even understood, but it's just there. There. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. 